Hello and welcome back, YouTubers. This is Bruno Mario, and uh, I do YouTube reviews. So thanks for taking the time out to watch these videos. I really, really appreciate it. Today we're going to be reviewing a classic game called Duke Nukem 3D. Um, as you can see, I got all the achievements for this one too. Yep, I'm an achievement hunter. Wonderful. Anyways, let's get to it. Duke Nukem 3D is uh, very reminiscent of Wolfenstein and uh, Doom. Although, Duke Nukem did not take off as much as um, some other games. Let's say uh, Doom became very popular, but Duke Nukem did not share the same popularity. Having put that aside and realizing that this is just a good game, you can enjoy Duke Nukem because it takes a more sarcastic approach. Where the Wolfenstein hero and the Doom hero do not say any words, this guy says a lot. Yes, my memory is uh, missing a lot. Still haven't gotten back all the game saves, but that's okay. Anyways, continuing on, let's have a look at the uh, menu. As you can see in the background on the main menu, you get to watch a player play this. Um, there's single player, there's multiplayer if you want to frag friends. There's leaderboards, there's your achievements, helping options. And you can look at other people's uh, videos on what they did and how they did it. And then there's Return to Arcade. So, let's go ahead and start a new game. LA Mount Meltdown. Upon start of the game, you'll notice that this guy is very pissed off because these aliens shot up his ride. You'll notice that the graphics look very similar to that of Doom and Wolfenstein 3D. You know, I'm not entirely positive as to what I have to do here. And that is definitely a problem with these games. They never explain what to do. Because they're very old DOS games. Doesn't make them bad games though. Quite the opposite, they're very good games. I'll go ahead and let you, the viewer, watch some gameplay here. As you'd imagine, this is a much more mature game. And it is very silly. Ah, I can dance.
Ha! <laughs> He's using the toilet. This is a silly game. If you like silly games, I recommend it for you. If you're a dick and you don't like laughing, then I recommend you don't get this game. Duke Nukem, to say the least, is probably not a kid's game, but I don't say that because it's so graphically great, it will make them believe what they're doing is real. No, I say that because he uses steroids and drinks excessively. Duke Nukem doesn't take any crap from anyone either. See that? Duke Nukem. Yeah, boy. Unexpected. Upon the completion of every level, you uh, hit the nuke symbol and launch a nuke on the area. Let's rock. It's time to kick ass and chew bubblegum, as he always says. Come here. As you can see, the game does not take itself seriously at all. And once more, if you take every video game you play super seriously, and you want to grade it on graphics and this and that. Then, this is not 
the game for you. The aiming system is not that of Dooms, so... Proto Mario, signing off.